Yes, so, yes, so. Welcome once again to the Foodie Lounge. This episode is about myself and my wife's 2000 Naira Challenge. Thank you for having me. We want to know who will win. Who is a prudent spender? Can I use my own 2000 Naira to buy more things? Or can she? Watch and you'll be the judge in the comment section. Who is the winner of this challenge? Don't forget to subscribe, share and follow us to continue seeing more contents like this. Yes, so my people, I want to show him that I am better than him. What a woman can do, if a man tries it, he will bend. Which kind of bend? Let us go to the market and see how I'm spending my own 2000 naira. I will show her that because she cooks doesn't mean I cannot. As you can see, I'm buying my ingredients and I'm very serious about this challenge. I know there are serious partners out there. So let us show these ladies that we can be as better and as prudent as them if we are serious about it. For we, yeah, my people, which rule the kitchen? Follow him and see the nonsense he thinks he's bringing into this challenge. The only thing he knows how to do is to brag and show off. So you can tell me that I'm bragging. Me, brag. No, Allah. When you start saying what our viewers are giving me, when you start saying 90 over 100 and your own end, you are saying 30 over 100, that's when you will be sure of what is happening. I know my goons are watching and they are going to be on my side. So guys, start marking. Start giving me points. 80, 90. They don't worry. We are going to count and reward everybody that. Let's show these ladies that we are better than them by using our votes. Why are you being this fraudulent? Don't worry. As you have your goons, I have my lovely ladies too in my corner. They know a good wife when they see one. Not this big for nothing ego that you are bringing into my kitchen. Now, I'm done with my own buying. See what he bought with his own 2000 era. And he feels he's going to win. See how scanty they are on the tray. Follow me to the market and see how prudent I'm going to be with my own 2000 era. From the frozen fish I bought to the Ogbono soup I'm surprising him with. You will see that I'm a prudent spender than him. I pray whatever he buys is sweet enough for me and my children. He thinks he is smart by buying bread and stuffs. We women understand what we need in the long run. Not this sharp sharp breakfast he's trying to prepare. If you are enjoying this episode, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It will enable us to reach more audience. Yes, yeah, so we will also appreciate if you can also drop comments about our work. It will enable us to improve yeah. more on our next video. Wait now. I say may you may, may you help me. Talk your talk now. Which kind of talk do you want me to see? Can someone correct you again? I'm very sure I'm going to win this challenge. I hope you have my five thousand naira ready. Which win? If it is based on what we bought, our audience will tell us the winner. Don't be too fast to be the judge, jury, and executioner. Let our subscribers judge this case. I'm winning this challenge. I know I am. 5K. See what I bought with my own 2000 naira. Let's go to the kitchen, guys. Now, let us prepare my own ingredient. Now, she dices the tomato the onions and the seasoning together. Then she pours oil on the fire as you can see and pours in the diced ingredients. Then she stirs for some minutes. Then she whisks the eggs together and pours it into the sauce. Then mixes it together to make sure it's cooked. The mashed eggs is ready. Hoo la la! Yes, I can't wait to devour this. Then she boils water to prepare the tea. When it's hot, she pours the beverage in. Breakfast is ready. Thank you guys. Please rate my cooking. Welcome to my own side of the kitchen. Lest I forget, before the rating falls in, I will share a secret with you by the end of the video. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us till the end. Hope I'm safe. What kind of secret are you trying to share? Don't worry your head. The secret is for our viewers and they will be surprised by the end of the video. Secret or no secret? I know I have won this challenge. There is nothing you can do or say to our audience at the end of this video 
that will turn the table. Take us on how you are going to prepare your own food to compete with me. After chopping all my vegetables and grinding all the ingredients together, I put the pot on the fire with some quantity of water. Then, I put my already seasoned fish and pomo. Next to go in is the grounded pepper and my crayfish. Then, I put my seasoned cubes and some palm oil into the pot. I didn't put all the palm oil because I will use the leftover oil to mix the blended ogbono so that it won't have molds. The reason why the palm oil is used is that if I do not use the palm oil, there are going to be molds in the soup and it will not look tantalizing and smooth when eating. Yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Hoi. Thank you for always cooking for us in the house. Now, what next are our viewers going to see? Then, I put some locust beans and salt to taste. Next ingredient to go in is the ogbono that has been mixed with some palm oil. Then, I stir it for a while and cover the pot for some minutes. When the sauce has thickened, I poured in my vegetables since it's ready to serve. The food is ready to serve. I know you are still waiting for the secret I wanted to share. Here we go. You know that I cook the bold dishes. What my husband does is filming. I believe I deserve more credit to make me win this challenge. Don't forget to like this content and comment on how we can make it better. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whether you are the chef or I'm the challenger, all I know is that I am winning. It's not by who cooked. It is by how we spent our money. Thank you everyone for being with us on today's episode. Don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. See you on our next episode. If you are enjoying our content, kindly watch any of these videos above.